In this video, we're going to take a look at a feature of Excel called Advanced Filters. You can do a lot of, let's go to the Data tab here for a second. Uh, you can do a lot of filtering with the Auto Filter. They used to call it Auto Filter, but I guess now they just call it Filter. Uh, but you can't do everything. So if you reach the limits of the Auto Filter, there's an option to do an Advanced Filter, and you can do pretty much anything you want to with the Advanced Filter. So uh, this is something to use when Auto Filter does not work. So what we need to do is we need to have some data that we want to filter. And I've already got this defined as a table. It doesn't have to be defined as a table to, for this to work. Uh, it can just be an ordinary range. And we need a place to put what's called the criteria range. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to the left side, and I'm going to get my fat black arrow pointing to the right. And I'm going to open up 10 rows here. Click and drag. And then I'm going to right click and say I want to insert 10 blank rows there. Okay, this is going to be my criteria range. 10 rows is probably almost always going to be enough. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the column headings here, and I'm going to select them and then copy them, do a control C, and then go up here and paste them back in, do a control V. So now I have my headings two places on my spreadsheet. And this data down here, this row, is to identify what's in each column. Uh, this row up here is for me to put rules underneath. Okay, so let's start off with a real simple example. Uh, let's say I want to find my business majors. The abbreviation for that in the major column is BUAD. So I go to column C, and under the word major, I put BUAD. And Excel is not case sensitive, so I can do it in lowercase if I want to. And now what I want to do is I want to tell Excel, here's my data, here's my rule, and find everything down here that matches this rule. Okay, so the easy way to do this is to start off with your cursor in the data range down here. So make sure you click someplace. Don't select anything, just click on one cell. And then click on Advanced Filter up here. And if you start off with the cursor in the data, you see what it does for you. It automatically identifies the data. It just goes as far in all four directions as it can before it runs into white space. And then, so you don't have to do anything here most of the time. Then click on Criteria Range. And my Criteria Range, it could be all of this stuff right here. Since I really don't care what's in the other columns other than column C, the major column, all I really need to do is just select these two cells. Okay, so now I've got C1 to C2. It's got the uh, sheet name in front of it. And so what I'm saying here is basically here's a rule. Uh, these two rows make up a rule. And basically take this and kind of lay it on top of each one of these records here one at a time. And if it matches, then select that record. So it'll, it'll try this one and say, nope, HRM is not a match. Then I'll try this one and say, yep, BUAD is a match. Then we'll get a bunch of non-matches, and then we get down here to BUAD again. And it'll select all the ones that have BUAD in the major field. And um, I'm going to filter the list in place. Uh, an option here is to copy it someplace else. And there's also an option here if you have happen to have duplicate records in there, which we do not, uh, and you only wanted to see one if there were duplicates, you can turn that on. Uh, we won't be doing that. Click on OK. And it has shown me just the BUAD majors. And just like with the auto filter, uh, it gives me two visual clues here that something's going on. Uh, the numbers are blue, uh, and they're not in sequence, and they're not consecutive, I should say. And in between here, uh, if you look at the left end of my arrow here, otherwise it's covering it up, uh, there are little gaps indicating that some rows are missing. Okay? So these are all the business majors. Everything else is still there. It's just showing us the BUAD majors. If you want to clear it, go to your data tab, go to the sort and filter group, and click on clear. And now we're back where we were before. And it looks like it did a little bit of formatting for us there. We kind of lost some of our blue lines, but that's okay. Actually, you know what I'm going to do here? Um, it looks like this. we lost this as a table. Let's go to our table tab here and tell it to convert it to a range, and yes, and now let's go tell it we don't want borders, and I think now we'll get rid of them. Okay, so it's not a table, it doesn't have to be a table for this to work, and uh, we selected the business majors now. Um, at Briarcliff, we have business and accounting majors in the same department, so maybe I want to select business and accounting majors, and that's two rules. The first rule says check to see if BUAD is in the major column. The second rule says check to see if ACCT is in the major column. And so it'll try this one, and if that works, fine, it'll pick it. If that doesn't work, it'll try this one. If it works, fine, it'll pick that one. And if neither one of these works, it will skip the record. Okay, so 
Neither one's going to work on that, so it'll skip it. The first rule will work on this one. The second rule will work on this one. And then we're going to miss one and miss one and miss one. And then this one, the second rule works on that. So uh, each row here is basically a rule by itself. And it's as if each row was connected to the other row by the word or. So if business administration is there or accounting is there, then I want to select the record. Otherwise, I do not. So let's do another filter here. Let's click any place in the data to get started. Let's go to our data tab and go to advanced. And again, because we started off in the data, it correctly selected the criteria, the uh, list range. And it still remembers the criteria range from last time. Now the criteria range from last time though is, I'm going to drag over that and hit delete. Uh, it doesn't include row three. So we just get the business majors again. So uh, I'm just going to collect, uh, select uh, these three cells here, click on OK. And now if you look at my results, uh, some are business and some are accounting. Okay, let's clear that. Let's put in yet another one. Uh, we're going to put in human resource management in there, HRM, and hit enter. We're going to go down here and we're going to put the cursor in our list. Click on advanced. Uh, it identified the list range correctly. And then I'm going to click on the arrow here. And see it selects that, so anything I select will be written over that. And I get those four cells. And go back and click on the little arrow. Click on OK. And now I've got business accounting and HRM. And down at the bottom it tells you how many records are found. It looks like we found 21 out of the 43 that are there. Okay, let's clear that one. And now let's try the exact same example, but I want to show you a mistake that's easy to make. We're going to put the cursor in the data again, click on Advanced. And uh, for criteria range this time, I'm going to click on the arrow. And the nice thing about clicking on the arrow is you don't have to scroll. It just takes you up there automatically. And now let's say the cursor slips a little bit when I'm dragging the mouse, and I get that. Okay. I've got an extra row there, uh, row 5. Click on this, click on OK, and uh, no filtering took place. And here's the reason why. It checked to see. Uh, if business was there, and if it wasn't, it checks if accounting was there. If it wasn't, if HRM was there, uh, and if it wasn't, then it goes down here and checks a blank cell in a column that's selected as part of your criteria range. Basically means I don't care what's in that cell. So, you know, before, and everything matches, I don't care. Uh, before, I didn't do this, but let's go back and do this again. Let's do an advanced filter here, and I'm going to do my criteria range. And it is possible, you know, to do this. Um, you don't really need to select columns that don't have anything underneath them because basically a blank cell means I don't care what's in that field. That has nothing to do with the match that I'm looking for. Uh, only the columns that have some text are the ones that I care about. So don't ever select an extra row by mistake because basically you're just saying I'm not going to filter my data at all. Uh, I'm going to click on the little down arrow over here, click on OK, and this time I should get those 21 records again. One other thing you need to be aware of, which is uh, another easy mistake to make, is when you set up your criteria range, you can set it on the top, you can put it over on the side if you want to. The uh, problem with putting it on the side sometimes is that when these rows collapse, uh, you end up losing uh, some of your rules over here on the right because they, those rows get collapsed as well. But a common mistake is uh, to take the column heading and retype it up here yourself. Don't retype it. Uh, just copy what's here, paste it up here, and then you know you've got an exact match. For example, uh, here's, a, here's a real easy mistake to make that I've seen people make before. Um, let's say that the original, and we won't do it up there, let's say the original one, the person accidentally just hit the space bar at the end. So there's an extra character on the end of that column. Okay, so that column is major space, this column is major without a space, but you can't really see it unless you go here and click on the cell, and now you see there's a little gap between the R and the cursor. And I'm going to go back here and clear my filter and I'm going to apply the filter again but this time I'm not going to get any records back at all because the column headings will not match it's going to be looking for a column called major that has BOAD, ACT or HRM in it and uh, this column is actually not called major it's major with a space tacked on the end it's one of those picky little things that, that uh, about computers that can really annoy you sometimes so let's click on advanced here we start off with the cursor in the data. It selected the data correctly. Now let's go to criteria range. And I'm going to select this stuff right here. And I'm going to click on my little down arrow again. Click on OK. And I don't get any records. And it's not really obvious why at all until you start double checking uh, the column headings. Okay. So never type in column headings 
uh, copy and paste the existing ones, and then you'll save yourself the hassle of worrying about uh, any kind of misspellings or extra spaces on the end or anything like that. In our next video, we will look at some uh, advanced filters that look at numbers instead of text fields.